welcome to my channel thank you guys for joining me today we're going to be doing a snack review and my girl slim shell her name is gonna be right here guys go follow her she is so supportive that's my sis right there we've been sisters for years but um i seen that she says she loved these doritos and it's called the doritos roulette and um i wanted to try them i'm not sure it says nacho cheese at the bottom i'm not sure how they taste i don't know if it's just a name change or whatnot but i did want to try and i got a small bag every time i get like a, every time i do a snack review on something i always get the big bags and i don't even eat it all but so i just got a little small one this time so we're going to taste a few of these This one tastes like a regular Dorito. Try another one. Mm. That one was a little spicy, the second one. This one was a little spicy. This one was a regular one. Okay. I can't. I don't like this. That spicy one was real spicy. It snuck up on me. So, what you guys been up to? Um, I know Hurricane Ida has passed. A lot of states have had damage over this hurricane. And I've heard that this hurricane has caused more damage than like Hurricane Katrina. Y'all know the damages from Hurricane Katrina, it was a lot. And Hurricane Laura. Um, so this one was the worst. Hurricane Ida was the worst out of all of them combined. Um guys we are we may not have been i don't know why my forehead is shiny like that but we um we we was not um affected meaning like damages wise over here like by hurricane ida it was supposed to come this way but it didn't but guys we're suffering in a different way we don't have enough gas because our neighbors that was affected by Hurricane um, Ida. They don't have gas there, so they have to come here to get gas. So we're fighting for gas, guys. Fighting for gas. Um, also, those that have um, that have came like um, evacuees that have came out here, they need uh, mattress, uh, air mattresses, all that, all those things, all the things that they need to sleep places and extra food and stuff like that they have to they have to get that out here so all that the, the shelves are empty for air mattresses and stuff it's it's different things so if they come out here and they get these things and we also need them too so that means we're kind of low on stock on those those items so i guess you could say we kind of affected as well because Oh, guys i have seen a i have seen a crime over the news lately because of the lines the long lines at the uh, gas station now i don't remember where this was i don't remember where this was but um someone was killed uh from let me see from standing line somebody cut them off or something like i'm not too sure I don't want to name no names or anything like that because the family, you know, is sensitive subject. But it's crazy. It's really crazy, guys. And this was over a hurricane. Now people fighting over gas. Like it's it's ridiculous. 
and we still not over we still fighting for gas we have to make sure we have extra gas to make it for the week so um some of these gas stations their their pumps are empty like they can't get no more gas they didn't got it taped up wrapped up out of here so it's on certain places that's giving it in our area so i don't know guys it's a lot going on um i think this one is a regular chip oh see i didn't notice this look guys this must be the spicy chip because on the bag it shows like i guess you get some that's normal some that's hot okay okay yep i like this it's real good you guys go grab your bag of doritos roulette and taste them if you're not into spicy stuff don't don't mess with it because that don't the spicy ones are a little spicy it's hot they don't catch you off guard but i hope you guys are doing okay this is like a little sharp video but that's what's been going on with us a little update on hurricane ida like we you know we didn't get no damages or anything but we are still you know affected because you know of no gas in different places now i've seen the damages from hurricane ida and uh it's really bad guys i don't know how long honestly if you live in louisiana and y'all seen the damages from Hurricane Laura to Lake Charles, they still, they still have not gotten over that. People are still waiting for their houses to be fixed. People are still waiting for their businesses to, the, the, the damage to be fixed. It still looks bad out there. But they're fixing it, but it's just like a slow process. So if it's, it's, been taking a long time for them guys how long is that gonna take you know for all these places that got hit by hurricane ida like i just keep thinking like all these people you got the elderly it's a bad situation where i think the the elderly had to uh go to a shelter or something like that some of them passed away it was just horrible i don't want to get too far into that you know but because it's a sensitive topic but this hurricane has caused a lot, a lot, not just damages, not just lots, it's, it's just lives lost. And, you know, people's lives are changed. Their lives are changed. I feel so bad for them. I'll continue to pray for them. I will continue to pray for them because that could have been us. It could have been us. So, you guys, I hope that you are having a great day um whatever day i choose to upload this video um just um continue to pray for those affected by hurricane ida and um if you haven't already please go and subscribe to my channel join the mink family guys and like comment and share this video this video for the world to see thank you guys for joining me Bye bye